Hello everyone, Derek Stam Toys, and we are back with another action figure review. And thankfully I found my other phone, so no more ads will play during videos, hopefully. And hopefully maybe I'll get another TV at some point so I can just kind of do my music and shit like that again, how I was doing it before, because I got a Roku TV. Anywho, that's not the point of this. The point is, is we've got an action figure review going on today. Of course, you guys will know who it is, but I kind of like doing this sometimes, and I figured the package was already a little beat up from shipping, so it wasn't going to be too difficult to open on camera. I don't know if you got a little sneak peek there, but we've got the... What is it? I want to say it's the Elite 112, if I recall. JD McNugget. Or, you know, JD McCrispy. JD McChicken. JD McFunko Pop. Many nicknames for this man. Of course, I am talking about the Irish Ace, JD McDonough. I've been really interested in this man since NXT when he was doing that like targeting gimmick where he would like spe like target specific limbs and stuff of that nature. And yeah, you know, he I've I heard a lot about him before he went to NXT, like how he trained with Finn Balor and all that kind of stuff and yeah, you know, JD's just had a really interesting like time ever since he's joined WWE now with the Judgment Day of course the new Judgment Day in a sense but yeah I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take the time to try to get this jet oh actually that's kind of soft well let me take the time to get that off him and we can talk about the accessories here in a moment Alrighty, you guys, now that we got the accessory off of JD, we can take a little gander. Of course, if you were paying attention, you would have seen the swappable hairpiece in a sense. We'll go over that first. You would have seen him with the bun on. This is the head scan with the long hair on. Just gonna show that off now. I like it, it's not bad. Not my favorite, but I do also dig the man bun head sculpt as well. But we've got the two different hair pieces. We've got three different sets of interchangeable hands. You've got the Clyde Leonard shaking, slappy hands, ricochet entrance posing hands, whatever you want to call those. You got a set of fist hands, so you know they can do the punches and all that fun stuff. And you've got a set of weapon holding hands as well. And then you've got this actually fairly nice JD McDonough jacket. Nice and soft in the front. So then that way you don't have to sit there and like break your fingertips and shit just to get the like jacket on like with Keith Lee for instance. You've got the Irish Ace. Even though it it, it almost kind of cuts off the ace with the hoodie and the H as well. So it almost looks like it says Irish, but eh, whatever. Comes with it being rubber. You've got the JD logo and of course the JD logo on the front with all the extra stuff. Which actually has a little bit of scope to it. So that's kind of a nice little touch of detail. It's got it some bumps and grooves in there. But of course, you know, pushing that aside, we've got the JD figure himself. And what can I really say, you know, it's looking nice. It's looking fairly clean. Only problem with mine is the kick pad here. Looks like it got a little scrapey scrape. That could have happened in shipping and stuff. So I, I don't know if I'm going to really complain about that too much. But yeah, you know, why did I put them down? We can take a nice gander at the rest of the figure, including the attire. So I'm thinking they used the Daniel Bryan formula maybe for this. I don't know exactly, but the 
triangles with the white outline along with the JD logo on the trunks is really nice. You've got the, well, I'd say that's more of like a tealish color on camera, but it's, it's like a really, it, it, it is kind of teal in person too, but the teal doesn't come off as strong in person in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but you got the JD logo on the knee pads, and then everything is just kind of plain black from there. Nothing too special. You got the black wrist tape and all that stuff. Posability is really good. No fixing with this one. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Mr. Mr. Rick Ricochet, or whatever you want to call him. I feel like MJF might call them that here soon if they get into a promo battle, but yeah. If you didn't watch the Ricochet review, I actually had to fix him in a sense because his legs would not pose as well. Worst case scenario, might have to hit it one more time. But whatever like formula they used for JD here, maybe they used like the original Balor formula or something. But those... Those ball joints don't really look rigid like the newer ones do, so I, I'm not too, too sure. But yeah, I, I don't know exactly what to say there. Sorry if you heard my little sniffle there on camera. Kind of kind of getting into the later seasons. My allergies are going to start kicking in and stuff of that nature, so might be there, but... With all that being said, why don't we get into, like, the final pose with JD? Alrighty, you guys. We've got the JD in the final pose. I was posing him around a bit. Maybe if I take the time to edit this video, I'll actually show some of the pictures I took. If not, I will upload them to Instagram. So, you know, quick little reminder, I guess. Go follow me on Instagram if you'd like to see stuff like that. But anywho, when it comes down to this JD, honestly, I'm actually really loving this figure. This might be probably one of my second favorite releases that I've gotten this year so far, including the Sandman, of course, Sandman probably being my number one, probably because I was waiting on that for so long and stuff of that nature, but what can you do? Thankfully, I found this for a pretty reasonable price. Might try to get the Becky Lynch at some point that's in this wave, along with the Seth Rollins and all them guys. I just, I can't remember exactly. Is the JD a part? I want to say it's wave 112 that the Seth and all those guys are a part of. But, you know, you'll you'll know when the video gets put out, because I'll, I'll do my research, and you guys can laugh at me if it's wrong in the comment section, because I... It's hard to keep up nowadays. I've literally been doing this since like 20... Yeah, pretty much since 2014. If not... A, no, actually earlier, because Mattel's had the license since 2010, so duh. I've definitely had these a tad bit earlier. But, what can you really say? A hundred and what? Like 14, 15 waves that have been announced as of late. And we're still pumping out some pretty banger figs at the end of the day. So, I'm happy to see that. But when it comes down to it, like the, you know, the good old 1 out of 10 rating, what would I have to give this JD? Well, I think at the end of the day, 1 out of 10, I'm going to have to give this figure a good solid 8.5. When it comes down to me... The kick pad being a little effed up is kind of a meh, along with having that little gap in the thigh, but that's also happened to Pete Dunn as of late, so I don't know exactly what to call that, but yeah, I think a good solid 8 out of 10 is good for this JD. You get some nice accessories, you get a really nice attire for his first elite. Of course, no Judgment Day esque attire just yet, but to be honest with you, it doesn't really bug me too, too much. Either way, though, we still do gotta get into the Meltzer Star rating, which 
of course, you know, pretty important to some of us wrestling fans. You got the star rating, the the good old one, the Young Buck match, I guess you could say. What would I have to rate this on a scale of 1 to 5 stars? I gave it an 8. We're going to give it a good solid 3.5 out of 5 stars. Almost a good solid 4. And honestly, with that being said, I don't really... I don't really have much more I gotta say on this, so if you guys would like to, feel free to like the video if you did like the video. If you didn't, womp womp, I guess. You don't have to if you don't, but if you did, feel free to check out some of my other action figure content, such, uh, yeah, such as unboxings. We do action figure reviews, did a few of them the other day. Plus, we also do pig fed content as well. As you can see with the Seth and the Sting in the corners, I actually got John Moxley sitting down here. You can see the little dirty old phone, gotta clean that off, but that, that can wait. I'm in the middle of a move, so I'll take the time to clean that when I get the chance. But yeah, other than that, if you guys would like to, you know, maybe feel free to go follow me on Instagram as well where you can get like match updates and or action figure review updates such as you know this one when it goes up and or when i feel like it i'll probably post some sting and darby versus the shield or as i've been calling them the vigilantes versus the shield as this is gonna be a, a fairly important match i'd say you never know could see new champs you may not either way if you do or don't, that's fine, but one thing I would like if you could do is maybe feel free to subscribe. After all, it is free to subscribe, and yeah, you know, we're on the road to 300 subs, currently sitting at 262 or 63 as of recording this, I can't exactly remember, but we're over the 160 mark, guys, a little under 40 to go, probably like 37. Hopefully we can get some more. Maybe we'll hit 300 by the end of the year. I'm not going to hold you guys to it though, but maybe it'd be nice to see that happen by November 25th, which is my birthday. So, nice little gift to me, I guess, if we do. If not, maybe Christmas time. We'll just have to see how everything goes now that I'm in my own place at the moment. But yeah, with all that being said, feel free to do that you know and yeah i guess we're gonna sign off now so have a good rest of your day night evening whatever the case may be i don't know because i'm not in your time zone i just know i've been awake since yesterday at 10 o'clock at night because i worked and i sadly do work tonight too so sadly may not get much sleep but that's okay had a lot of stuff to do today why this actually took me a bit because I did get this package yesterday but meh it, it's alright got the, got the review done either way so on that note see y'all in the next one deuces ooses yeet